okay everyone so now we are discussing our program that is find average and percentage of four numbers and display the result into the label means we want to show the output into the label so first of all we are going to the file then we are going to the new project as we are using the vb.net that's why in the vb windows application we are developing so we are clicking on the windows application let's say we are giving the name of project we can provide any name of our choice let's say the program is of average so we can take that average now click ok so this way the program will start it is going to create the project so project is going to create now afterward first of all when the project will be created we will be having the solution explorer so in the solution explorer we will be getting the name of project so here we are having the name of project that is average and inside that we are having the form one so this form one is empty right now we are on the designing part on the left hand side we are having the toolbox so on this toolbox we are going to drag and drop the controls now let's say we want the average of four numbers so first of all we want the four labels so this is the first label i am just changing the text here so click on the text property now right here enter first number so first of all we are entering the first number then afterward we are clicking back here you can see that enter first number similarly i am taking another labels also label 2 label 3 and label 4 so these are the four labels i click over here then again i am writing let's say enter second number or maybe if i click on the label 3 then similarly i will write here enter third number so i am writing here now same for the fourth one i am writing enter fourth number so these are the four messages i am giving to the user but to take the input i need the text boxes also so i am scrolling down and taking the text boxes in front of first number i have taken the first text box then text box 2 text box 3 and text box 4 so this way i has to take the text box you should be very intelligent while taking the text box because you see just like the name of text box is text box 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4 so they should be in sequence while dragging and dropping if you are making this text box on the top let's say you are placing it here and this one at this way so while doing the programming it can create the problem because you can see that now the top one is having the text box 4 and the bottom one is the text box 1 so if any time you are having the problem in the programming so please check out that your text box and all the controls should be properly placed so if some logical error is coming that can be because of un properly placement of these controls so here we are having the different different labels enter first second and third and fourth number and here we are having the text boxes now you can see that these text boxes are not properly aligned now if you want that they should be aligned then you can click on the first then second third and fourth so after clicking you can go to the format menu then afterward you can go to the alignment or make same alignment now they are having which way you want to align we want that height should be same so with the help of height you can align so which type of alignment you want let's say you want the horizontal spacing so spacing can be equal you want vertical spacing so let's say make equal now you can see that vertical spacing is equal so this way with the help of control we can just change their formatting also now simple if i collect all the labels so i have clicked here now go to the format then afterward again vertical spacing make equal so you can see that their spacing is also equal so now afterward we are dragging and dropping one button because we want that once i click the button so answer should come here
let's say button one now here i am writing something let's say click so this is a button with a click now this form i want to give my name let's say i am giving my name here so you can give your name if you want you can provide any name to the form now here my name is coming now afterward we want that the average should be displayed into the label so here i am writing a label the name of label is label 5 again i am dragging and dropping one more label let's say this label i am using for the percentage so here i am taking this now if i run this project right now we can see that some output will come so here we are having the output of this program now here we will enter certain numbers in the text boxes let's say one two three and four so some numbers we can enter we can click after clicking we want that in label five there should be average in label six there should be percentage so i want the action to be clicking on the button that's why i will go back i will just double click on the button so automatically dot net will provide me a function which is button one underscore click inside that i will do the coding now first of all i want that all these text boxes value you know that this is text box one it is two three and four so these four values which is entered by the user i should take so on double click on the button i am let's say taking the four variables so dim for the declaration declare a b c d as let's say we are taking as double so double type i have taken four variable the dot net is observing me that why it is saying these are the four variables which are unused but we are going to use that so first of all i am taking variable a a is equal to it will take the value from the text box one i am writing text it is showing me multiple option i will scroll down i will put the tab so i pressed tab so text box come here text box one dot what i want from the text box one i want the text so that's it but yeah because we are dealing with the numbers that's why whatever text we are taking that we will convert to the value as well so a is equal to value means value we are converting so similar way we are going to take this code means we are going to copy this and we are going to paste this let's say b c and d so this time i have pasted so i will change the variable name it is for b afterward the next one is for the c and similarly the next one is for the d but remember don't forget to change the text box otherwise the text box one value will be copied to all the variables so please change that it is text box 2 then the next one we are having is text box 3 well if you don't want to copy that would be the better option because while if you are copying you can do multiple mistakes as well but yeah we should know the shortcut as well so text box 1 going to a 2 going to b 3 going to c and 4 going to d so all the text box values we are having that is gone to the four variables right now now what we want we want the average and percentage so let's say we are taking two more variables one is av for the average and per for the percentage so now we are having average is equal to we know that how to calculate the average all numbers means a plus b plus c plus d how many numbers are there four so divide it with four so in the av we are having average now we want percentage so per that is equal to we know that percentage is again let's say a plus b plus c plus d now we should know that how much the maximum quality is there let's say we are taking the numbers so let's say the maximum value we are taking as 100 so that means four numbers 400 so divide by 400 into 100 
so that is the percentage but yeah percentage average both will be the same in that case so now we are coming here afterward we are going to display so we want that there are two labels label 5 and label 6 so in label 5 we want average in label 6 we want percentage so here we are going back we are writing label 5 in label 5 we want the average so here we are writing label 5 dot text that is equal to now what we have we are having the av for the average so in the label 5 dot text we are putting the average now in the label 6 what we want so here we want label 6 dot text and we want that there should be the percentage so we can write label 6 dot text that is equal to per now there is a time to execute this program so if i execute the program now the output window will come here we can see that let's say we are entering some number like 11 23 then 43 or maybe 56 now both are equal now how can i differentiate that this one is a percentage so i should be having the percentage sign so i'm closing this and going back to the coding now we should apply a percentage but it will be logically incorrect you can see that correct or not valid because whenever we want to apply something that we put inside the string so this is like a string because that will be the constant let's say you want to apply your name this number and the name you can apply and whenever you are doing such thing you need a concatenation operator so here in the dot net we are having a concatenation operator that is and if you talk about the C++, there is a different concatenation operator like double less than or maybe if you talk about the C, we are having the comma. So everywhere concatenation operator is different. So if you want to concatenate a string with a variable, then you have to apply and in between. So this way you can also add many things over there. Let's say you can write anything you want inside and you can put the and okay so and here is the concatenation operator that is concatenating the variable with the string so now we are going to run this program now here we are having the output window let's say 11 then 32 then 54 then 68 okay you can see that now the percentage symbol is present if you want that you need a space then you click here give a space then afterward you again play place the start debugging you provide 11 43 let's say 76 let's say 89 so you can see that one space is also there so this way we can show the output into the label also and we can add on the percentage sign so this way we have learned that how to give the output into label.